essentially, I got a background in membership, ran a membership organization, which we grew to a couple of thousand members, almost entirely through referrals and partnerships. We had reach of about a million small business owners. And so some big brands would work with us as their access point to the SME market. It did, did mean that I went all in on what I'm doing now, and this is what I should be doing. I think it's what excites me. It's what I love. How do you think that the the role for strategic partnerships has evolved since COVID? So I think during the first couple of years of COVID, the word collaboration came up a lot, right? But some of it was a bit sloughy. Now more than ever, the role of partnerships is both increasing, but it's increasing in a way of actual effectiveness. The role of having effective partners is huge because it allows you to deliver a more complete solution to your audiences, which which in turn makes stickier clients. I talk about customer value change. Your customer, your potential customer has a whole load of people that they need to speak to in order to deliver the end result that they really want. The issue that I come up against a lot when I talk to people about referrals is that Surely it's just another means for people to bring me revenue, right? The work that I do is about leveraging trusted relationships. And you, and the reason why you want to leverage trusted relationships is because the relationship that you want with your clients is a close, personal, long-term one. But yeah, that's where I sit. The person isn't just going to rely on an introduction, probably. They're going to want to see social proof. They're going to want to see content. They're going to want to see all that other good stuff. But you talk to loads of big businesses and they still, they, it still comes down to that. I get an email from Zero like every other month offering me 50 quid to refer a friend and it's like, it's just so off the mark, right? Leading on the back of that then, Div, I wonder what is the number one thing that you see business owners getting wrong with regards to their referrals? It's a mindset problem for most people um, in that they see it as something transactional that it's part of a sales process or that it's this thing that sits in its own right. And, and I think once people understand that, then actually that it doesn't have to be a sales activity. In fact, it's not a sales activity. It's a customer success activity. Really being comfortable and confident in who you are and going and not trying to please everyone, yeah. right? Because it's how you form real brand advocates, right? It's by really knowing who you connect with the best partnerships are the ones where yes there has to be the audience match it has to stack up commercially it has to work but the ones that will show longevity and will deliver results the quickest and be the most enjoyable ones are where you can really open and honest about who you are how you operate how you treat customers and part of that is wanting to connect and connect we connect by kind of finding shared values and shared common interests and common ground.